Oh, yeah. uh, first, I want to thank Professor Bay and the committee for inviting me. It's my pleasure to give a talk here. So, uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, this this is my outline. First, I I will give a briefly review uh, of uh, classical diophantine approximation, and then I will. Uh, enter the world of function fields, and uh, the part three is uh, is my main result. Okay, so in classical theory of diophantine approximation, we are concerned with how well an irrational real number can be approximated by r rational numbers. Uh, since we know uh, the set of rational numbers. Uh, it stands in uh, the real numbers. So, the, here the w the sentence "how well" we mean we we want to compare uh, with between the a uh, given real number and a uh, uh, rational number uh, with the uh, complexity of this rational number. Traditionally, we define the complexity of the rational number is uh, is defined by the uh, the absolute value of its uh, denominator. Yeah. So we want to ask the qu the equation, the difference between uh, real number and the rational number, and uh, and, and uh, compare it with uh, uh, one over q to the question mark. Yeah. So first, a theorem due to Dirichlet. Uh, says that for a given irrational real number, there are infinitely many rational numbers such that we, we can, uh, we have the difference between alpha and uh, p over q is less than one over q, to q square. Yeah. And uh, Louisville proved that for any irrational real algebra, here we focus on the algebra part uh, he he proved that for ir irrational real algebra number of a uh, uh, degree d, we define degree d, we know we know that uh, we, we give a notation d of alpha with degree d. There exists a uh, constant uh, positive numbers depending only on al alpha, such that for all rational number, we only can uh, plus, uh, I mean we we only can have the we we only have this in inequality. Uh, finally, in a famous work for which he got Fields Medal, Rose proved that for any irrational real numbers, there and and uh, for any epsilon, a uh, positive number epsilon, the equality has finally many solutions. And uh, uh, this this improvement of the diophantine approximation actually, uh, in fact, ha has have many applications for other objects. Uh, for example, uh, diophantine equations or transcendental criterion and the dynamical system, etc. Et so now we want to consider uh, the approximation by algebraic elements of bounded degree. Uh, worth in conjecture that for any real number and the positive no integer n, if theta is not a uh, an algebra of degree at most n, uh, this this sentence mean, means uh, either theta is algebra of degree greater than n, or theta is an trans is, is a transcendental number. Then there is the inf inf uh, infinitely many real algebra numbers alpha with degree at most n such that we have this inequality. So uh, here we re remark that the constant c is a constant depending only on theta n and epsilon. So uh, worst thing conjecture, uh, conjecture, con conjectured this inequality because he, he, he was thinking about the generalization of the Richelieu's result. What is H alpha here? Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, I write. Sorry. Uh, 
because alpha is an algebraic number, so we have an irreducible particle over z. So suppose it is his polynomial, irreducible polynomial over z. We, we define h alpha maximum over the absolute value over these coefficients. Okay. You know, in dating coefficients should be one or something like. No, uh, because uh, we 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 consider it reducible polynomial over z. If we consider over q, we x the leading coefficient is one, but it's over z. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Be uh, because I x uh reducible, so if. We it has a common factor we yeah sorry oh okay uh actually in his paper he proved a weaker result which replaced the exponent i mean the exponent of h alpha replaced n plus 1 by a function cn which was with uh, which has a property this on the hand, on the other hand he tried to generalize Roth's result by proving that for any epsilon a uh, positive number is shown there exists, exists a positive number d uh, capital d depending only on theta n and if if so such that we have this e equality so uh here we see if we apply n equals uh, equals one, we got the Roth result. So, however, uh, because uh, the proof, the method of proof of uh, uh, Worthing's uh, result uh, is uh, using Roth method. So, uh, a metric argument uh, suggests that it could be possible to replace the exponent to to product n by n plus one. So, uh, Davenport and Schmidt uh, wrote a paper about reversing conjecture for n n is equal to for n equals two, and uh, they in fact they prove with the exponent three instead of three minus epsilon. Okay, and uh, Schmidt also have a conjecture. Uh, conjecture here. So uh, now, so uh, back to we back to the previous slides. Uh, we have two conjecture. The uh, the first one conjecture is worse than conjecture that uh, he tried to generalize the richness result, and the the second conjecture here. They conjecture that it could, the exponent of, of, of H alpha uh, could be possible to replace two pro, uh, product n by n plus one. So, so uh, as a corollary of Schmidt subspace theorem, we obtain that both conjectures are true for real algebraic numbers. Yeah, All the, uh, we only know the case for real algebraic numbers. And uh, finally, Spring Rook. Spring Rook show that the conjecture, worsting conjecture, is true for almost all real numbers. Uh, here we use the terminology of uh, Lebesgue major to to say almost all. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now uh, we want to give a de definition to describe uh, our discussion. Let theta be a real element which which is not as real of degree at most n. Uh, again, here we mean uh, either theta is transcendental is transcendental or is uh, an algebraic number of degree uh, greater than n. We define the exponent of theta with 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 n with degree n uh, defined as follows. Yeah, the, 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 this uh, this number can show show us how well can be 
the, uh, can theta be approximated by uh, re, re, by algebraic numbers of degree at both n. So uh, use this terminology. In fact, Spring Zook Spring Zook proved that for almost all real real numbers, the exponent of theta uh, with degree less than n uh, is equal to n plus one. Okay, next one, well, we, 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 uh, we, we want to investigate some, some spatial set uh, which involves some information about the approximate approximation. The first one is for any uh, positive number lambda, lambda uh, greater, greater than or is, is greater than or equal to one, let k of lambda be this. So. Uh, following this definition, we know so according to Dirichlet theorem, we know k of one includes all irrational numbers, and the Ross theorem show uh, tell us that k lambda contains no algebraic elements for any lambda is uh, greater than one, and the Kim Ching proves that this set has the bare major zero. Uh, if lambda is greater than one, okay. So uh, it's so so next we want to measure the size of major zero set. Uh, here we have a we have a tool to measure a major zero give a measure the size of a major zero set in terms of its Hausdorff dimension. Uh, I will I will give a definition later. So, but here I I just directly use this this sentence. So, uh, Yannick and uh, Beskovich they they study the set of k of lambda. They found they prove that the Hausdorff dimension of k lambda is one over lambda when lambda is greater than one. And uh, later. Baker and uh, Schmidt, uh, they studied, they studied uh, the set of Kn lambda and the Kn prime lambda. Uh, these two sets are defined more widely in terms of uh, approximation by algebraic approximation of bounded degrees. And uh, they try to est establish a generalization result of the Yannick and Beskovich theorem. So we, st we state it as follows. So, uh, so given positive integer n and the uh, positive number lambda is greater than or equal to one, let k n of lambda be the set of all real numbers such that if we, for a, if we give any lambda plan uh, less than lambda, we can find inf infinitely many algebraic number with degree at most n satisfy satisfying the following equivalent. So this e e e uh, e equality, sorry. This equality involves some information about uh, uh, diophantine approximation. And the uh, Km plan lambda be the subset collecting elements in the Km lambda which are not in Km lambda prime for any bigger, big, bigger number. How? Okay, so uh, now we know the, these two definitions of k n lambda and k n plus lambda. Uh, they prove that the Hausdorff dimension of k n lambda and k n plus lambda is one over lambda. <coughs> Sorry. So now we turn to we 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 are going to enter the world of function field. So here's my notations. Uh, so F Q T R our K is a rational function field, and the K bar is our algebraic closure, and the A is uh, the polynomial ring. And uh, uh, we we fix a non-Archimedean observable value with with respect to degree variation. So our k infinity is the completion of k with respect to this uh, in 
infinity absolute value. So here uh, we will, uh, because we have the following parallel comparison, so uh, later on when I say real elements, uh, I, I mean the, an element in k infinity. So, uh, so it is well known that the Richelieu theorem holds for function fields, and in and then later, as an analog of Ruvilla theorem, Mahler proved the analog of Ruvilla theorem. So, uh, so for he 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 proved that for any uh, real elements alpha and uh, and the algebra over k of degree of degree d, there is this a real number, positive real number, de depending only on alpha, such that the following in inequality holds. So th this uh, this statement is uh, parallel to the Villa theorem. Okay. Okay. Uh, but unfortunately, the analog of Ross theorem doesn't hold for function fields, uh, shown by a counterexample given by Mahler. Uh, here, I need to give a remark. Here, actually, the analog of, of Ross theorem holds for uh, function field in zero characteristic, which is proved by Uchiyama. But uh, in, 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 in positive characteristic, Ross the, theorem doesn't hold. So this counterexample is coming from uh, a function field over finite field. Okay. So Mahler proved that uh, let a finite, uh, FQ be a finite field, and uh, he construct uh, an algebraic number alpha uh, like this form. Then we can prove alpha is at break over k, and uh, the degree of alpha is at most q. And uh, we choose a sequence of polynomials, uh, sorry, a sequence of rational functions, un over vn, uh, which of this form. We, we can prove that the e1 alpha, e1 alpha means a, a rational approximation. Uh, U1 alpha e e is equal to Q and e is equal to uh, its degree. So uh, from this is counter example, uh, we know that the exponent of a uh, an algebra, the real algebra elements, uh, the real Ruvilla bound is best possible because we see here the Mahler's theorem tells us the exponent of Alpha with uh, degree one uh, is le is less and less than and equal to the its degree by this theorem, and uh, he later he gave he gave an example showing that there is uh, there exists an element an element such that its its exponent is equal to its degree, so we we know that the uh, villa Bound is best possible. So our uh, our next question is: We want to know the distribution for uh, plus the exponents for of algebraic element, and uh, the following following result is obtained by Taku. Taku showed that an approximation important could be any rational number greater than two. By con by constructing a, a spatial family of algebraic elements, so we know that uh, not only the upper bound, but also we know uh, it could it could be any rational number greater than two. So here is here is the construction. Uh, we give uh, s as a positive integer, and l is is uh, b uh, b p to the s power. And uh, suppose that alpha is, is equal to this. Uh, here we, I use this notation. All right. OK, uh, the, the bracket, bracket, bracket notation means uh, we, we write down the continued fraction of alpha. 
Yeah, this A1 to the AN, A1 to the L power, uh, L, uh, this, this, this expression is the continued fraction of alpha. So where, uh, so we need to, uh, re we need to require AIR non-constant polynomials. So uh, if the continued fraction of alpha is uh, expressed by this, we can prove that alpha is algebra over k. Moreover, he proved the following theorem. Uh, actually, he can uh, calculate the explicit the, uh, number of the exponent of this kind of alpha. The first one is, uh, if we assume that the degree of the degree of AI is DI and put LR be, be this number. Uh, this DI is, is related to, is the degree of AI. Then for such a alpha, we have, we can, we can, sorry, this is E1 alpha. We have E1 alpha is equal to two plus, plus Q minus one product, the maximum number over L1 to Rn. So for, for this kind of alpha, we can explicitly calculate the exact number of the exponent of alpha. So second, he, uh, he, he proved that for given any rational number mu, do I define what is Q? Sorry. This, uh, here our Q can be any power of P, not, not we, we, do, we don't require the, this Q uh, as the same as the, our base, the number of base field. So you can see Q as a power of P. Of P. So given any rational number mu between Q to the N over, uh, one over N plus one and the Q plus one, we can find a family of alpha which, whose continued fraction is of this form. Sorry, uh, with exponent alpha is uh, exactly equal to mu, and uh, we know the further information is degree of alpha is is less than or equal to one, q plus one. So he, uh, his theorem shows that uh, he can show that uh, approximation exponent can be any rational number greater than two by construct by constructing a spatial family like this. Sorry. So, so later, uh, Gunterman uh, sh showed a similar result of a spring look. He showed that for any positive p positive integer, the exponent of theta with degree less than d is equal to d plus one for almost all theta, a uh, real theta. Here, uh, our terminology terminology for almost all is in the sense of a uh, major, uh, which I will define, uh, give a, a, a definition later. So now we want to uh, do some analog of Baker and the Sch Schmidt theorem. So we give a definition here. For n a positive number and a lambda a positive, uh, n is a positive integer and the lambda is a positive number. We define kn and k lambda, which are the same as the before definition. Okay. So, uh, in other words, we collect, kn lambda is collect some uh, collect elements which expo exponent uh, with degree less than uh, n. Uh, sorry, I need to write down. Theta. E. Sorry. OK. 
Okay, so no. In other words, we are uh, we are considering these elements. Okay. So now, now we before I, I state my main theorem, uh, we, I want to uh, introduce the terminology of uh, Hausdorff dimensions. Here uh, we give a general general de definition. So if X is is a metric space and the S capital S be a subset of X. Uh, first, we, we, we give a definition of Hausdorff major. Uh, the Hausdorff major of a subset S of X is for any positive number D, the D-dimensional dimen D Hausdorff major is defined by uh, limit inf, uh, the inf, uh, limit inf over the, this number, the summation over uh, di diameter of u to the dth power, where we require i uh, ui is a countable many covering of s, and uh, such that diameter of ui is less than or equal to delta. So he here our limit inf is runs over uh, delta, uh, runs over positive number delta. Okay, so uh, we call this, uh, this is a d-dimensional Hausdorff major. Okay, the next. So uh, our Hausdorff dimension of S is, uh, we take, take inf over this d, positive number d, such that uh, its d-dimensional Hausdorff major is equal to zero. Okay, so uh, the, usually we use uh, we use the tool of Hausdorff dimension is to, uh, to measure some irregular set or major zero set. Uh, the example for irregular set is a fract fractal, fractal, sorry, fractal irregular set. Because uh, how the Hausdorff dimension will be the same if our space is uh, Euclidean space, like R Rn. So if we give, uh, we let x be Rn, the Hausdorff dimension of Rn will be n. So the Hausdorff dimension is uh, using to, to measure some irregular set uh, and the major zero set. So I will give, give an, uh, I will give examples later, but first I want to see some, uh, two properties of the Hausdorff dimension. The first one is uh, the Hausdorff dimension we are some some order. Uh, that means uh, if S1 is uh, a subset of S2, then the Hausdorff dimension of S1 is uh, less or equal to the Hausdorff dimension of S2. Uh, second uh, is the countable union. So here I, I need to require the countable new union of SI. The, the Hausdorff dimension of the countable union of SI is supreme of these dimensions. So here I give three examples. Uh, the first example is any countable set of X, a uh, countable subset of X has actually, uh, in fact, its Hausdorff dimension is zero. But the, uh, but, but the second example tell us we can distinguish some major zero set by this example. If X if the middle third cantor set in R, then the Hausdorff dimension will be log two over log three. So we know the middle third cantor set are, are of major zero, but in house, if we use a Hausdorff di dimension to measure the cantor set, we will have a non-zero. Uh, we, we can see the difference between cantor set and uh, countable set. And uh, the third example is the set of Lovell numbers, which we know uh, this set is uncountable many, has zero Hausdorff dimension. So we have the third example tells us uh, even the, this set is uncountable, but we still have a uh, 
possibility that it has zero Hausdorff dimension. Okay. Hmm? Okay, so now our main result, uh, we, our main goal is to investigate the set KN lambda mm -hmm. and KN plan lambda by, st by uh, studying the Hausdorff dimension. So first I want to state the first one th main theorem as follows. Uh, so uh, we found that uh, despite uh, Rose the theorem doesn't hold for function field, and we can give some counter example, but in the sense of how major, and uh, we can find out the Hausdorff dimension of Kn lambda and Kn plus lambda is, uh, are also equal to one over lambda, just the same as the Baker and Schmidt theorem. Oh, two, okay. So uh, now the exact calculation of the Hausdorff dimension of a set in most is in most cases cases is a, a, a difficult problem, but it is easier to give, uh, to first give it uh, an upper bound. So uh, give an upper bound by applying the following lemma. So we see the lemma here. We now we let the whole spa uh, the the space X be k infinity with metric uh, infinity absolute value and the S be a subset of k infinity. Then the Hausdorff dimension S can be calculated by this. Uh, this definition is easier to calculate, so we 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 will we will use this lemma to give it an upper bound of our our. Um, two sets, Km lambda and Km plus lambda. So here we we just take over, uh, take inf of over positive number d, and consider all delta cover. But here we only ask, we only require the countable close covering of this form. So we only require the the covering is of the form uh, of close both yeah here our def our notation b a i r i is is the set of theta in in k infinity such that the center is a i and the radius is r i okay so using this lemma, I we want to we we are going to construct a, fam, uh, a special a special covering I to give an upper bound. So here we give an upper bound here. Think by the definition of K and lambda, we know that for any theta be an uh, for any theta as an element of K and lambda, and for any lambda prime uh, is less than lambda. We know theta will lie in infinity, infinitely many close balls of this form. Uh, this this statement is just uh, just ju uh, this statement just follows the definition of K lambda. So so it remains to show that uh, the summation over uh, over this element, uh, these numbers is it is, is converge. Uh, uh, sorry, the summation over this number converges because we we want to use this definition. We want to run over uh, run over all co cross covering such that the summation of the uh, radius to the this power converges. So if we construct one. And uh, because the definition, uh, the the definition of Hausdorff dimension is take inf over this d, so okay. So so it remains to show that the this sum this dimension converges for any zero uh, greater than one over lambda prime. So uh, the following inequality is just some estimate. 
So uh, we we can estimate the summation over the uh, diameter of I I alpha to the rho 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 power. Okay. So because uh, sorry because I don't know how to use this. I will sh show here. The first the estimate is to estimate uh the the number of algebraic elements with height with height uh equal to q to the h i mean here we want to estimate if we uh, our height alpha is equal to h we want to estimate this okay sorry okay So the first estimate is to estimate this number, and uh, the second one is just the just our definition of radius. So it is n plus one lambda prime. Okay, so this is our radius. Okay. So uh, after simple estimates, we can prove that this summation converges for any rho uh, greater than one over lambda prime. So we summarize our proof as follows. Now we, uh, we have an upper bound about dimen Hausdorff dimension of km lambda and km prime lambda. Okay. So uh, to estimate lower bounds, uh, it, it's, it, it is more difficult to estimate lower bounds of any 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 subset of, of the space. So, uh, but we now we have a tool to 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 give a, an estimate here. We now uh, I am going to introduce the tool up up ten by Baker and Schmidt, uh, which is called regular systems. Okay, we now we first give a definition. Let mu be the major subset in k infinity or in uh, real numbers, such that the this is our definition of Hamm major. And uh, in real number, we use Lebesgue major. So we fix a fix a major of the whole space, and then we we. We consider a countable set of elements in k infinity, uh, which is denoted by gamma, and then we we want to consider a positive value function on a gamma, which is denoted by n. So we call gamma n uh, a pair gamma n a regular system if for any closed ball j there is a positive number k of j. A k of j, k of j is a positive number, because uh, uh, the reason I, why I I wrote, uh, I did know this uh, symbol because the positive number is uh, relative to j. It's de uh, depending is depending on j, such that for any positive number greater than k of j, there is the t element in gamma and j satisfy the first two conditions and we require the number of these elements is greater than a uh, constant product the major of j and the product this number k so here C, c1 is a constant depending only on gamma and n so it, it, it is not depending on uh, our j. How, uh, I know this definition is a little abstract, so we give an example here. Here, our gamma is all non-zero rational number, and uh, we our function n is uh, the square of its denominator. Then we can prove that the gamma n, a pair gamma n, is a regular system. It 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 is not difficult to prove that. Just counting the uh, the number of rational number with with an with 
uh, by control its uh, the control its uh, denominator. No, what, okay. So uh, the next definition is uh, I want to discuss is uh, we want to discuss. Uh, dis discuss the regular system and the Hausdorff dimension. So first, for any regular system and the positive value function f, we signify by a uh, triple uh, gamma n f. The, the set we uh, we signify by this the set of all elements theta in uh, real elements theta for which there exist fin infinitely many gamma. Of, of small gamma of cap, capital gamma such that we have this inequality. This inequality is uh, depending on f. So we have uh, this, li li this triple. Okay, so for any subset S of, uh, k, of k and infinity and, and any positive value function g, we write uh, S uh, cup reduce. Uh, okay, oh, I change the terminal. We 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 say s is small with re with respect to g. If for any lambda positive num of uh, if for any positive number lambda and delta, s could be covered by a countable set of closed balls i one i two uh, with with their denominator that, uh, diameter less than lambda and uh, the summation over this uh, converges. So uh, in, in our theorem, we want to consider g is x to the zero power. Okay, so uh, now first we list some property of uh, this thing as follows. The first one is uh, if S, S1 is small uh, res with respect to G and S2 is also small with respect to G, then the union of S1 and S, S2 is, uh, is also small. And the second, if S is a countable set, and uh, any give n so uh, then give any positive function g, which tends to re zero with x, then we know that S is small with respect to g. And uh, the third one is uh, our key point, key key in ingredient. It says that it, it says that uh, if if the though is uh, greater than the Hausdorff dimension of S, then S is small with respect to this function. On the other hand, if our zero is less than the Hausdorff dimension of S, then S is not small with respect to this function. So, so uh, considering the, 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 the third line of the lemma, we so, so now we know that one way to obtain the lower bound of dimension, Hausdorff dimension of S, is to prove that uh, S is not small with re respect to this the, this function. Okay. So, the main proposition here is give us uh, giving is uh, gives us uh, uh, information about our our, our idea. So. Give any two functions, positive functions defined on um, positive number, such that we have the following three conditions. Okay, so if this for any two positive functions defined on positive value have the following three conditions, then we can know that for any regular system we have this set is not small. So. Uh, so our goal is to construct a, a regular system such that uh, it is not small uh, with respect to x to the those power. So uh, because I don't have many time, much time, so I think I will sk skip here. So so now we find that if 
we let gamma n be the set of all elements, algebraic real element with degree as most n, and n be the function of this. Then we can know that gamma n n is a regular system in k infinity. So now we have a regular system, regular system, and we have this proposition. So combine these two results. Sorry, so I will skip here. So combine these two results, we consider fx as log x over x to the lambda power, and the g of x is uh, equal equal to x to the one over lambda. By our different uh, proposition, we have this gamma n n f is not small with respect to this g, but on the other hand, we have uh, by by some inequality, we can prove that gamma nf is, is a subset in Kn lambda. So we know, we, all, we already know that uh, the Hausdorff dimension of gamma nnf is, uh, is greater than uh, 1 over lambda by the proposition. And uh, this set is a subset of Kn lambda, so we, know, we give it a lower bound of Kn lambda. Moreover, we can also prove that the similar result for k and plan lambda. So hence we have the following lower bound. So combine the lower bound and the, the upper bound. So I prove the main theorem here. Yeah. Okay. I think I was lucky. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.